I'm very happy to have you with us, uh, Mr. David Brosman. You are the former president of International Council of Design. Um, I want to know how, how do you feel about uh, this event, I mean this year's Wuhan Biennial. Well, I'm always very happy to participate in the Wuhan Design Biennial because it's always interesting, uh, it's always very well organized, and this year I was particularly happy to participate because I think that the organizers managed to uh, include a lot of very interesting um, events. I think the, uh, the conference that we had, the Roundtable of Design, was very high quality and attracted very uh, interesting people. They were very pleased to participate in the discussions and everything was well organized. It was good to see the exhibitions and, and to enjoy the social events. It was a very good event. I enjoyed it very much. Wuhan was selected as the city of design six years ago. Um, so, what do you think of um, what do you think about Wuhan as a city of design? I think um, Wuhan, as a UNESCO city of design, has made a very good effort to take advantage of the designation, mm -hmm. and. Um, they have uh, taken many steps to develop programs within Wuhan, but also internationally, and they have gained the respect of many of the other international cities of design because of the quality of the work uh, that Wuhan is doing. And an example is the round table that they're organizing, which is very highly respected by all the other countries. What can Wuhan do to uh, leverage its strengths um, for further development in design? And is there any uh, good examples that we can learn from? Well, first of all, Wuhan has some, some advantages. Uh, the fact that you have so many universities here and so many students um, makes it a very good place to discuss design education and design promotion. So that's, that's very important. And Wuhan, of course, is located in really the, the heart of China. So you are able to uh, radiate the, the work that you do all over China. Now, internationally, I think what you can leverage is the ability of the Wuhan City of Design team and their, their capacity and their quality of doing good work to really lead the other cities, because I think the other cities recognize the work that Wuhan is doing. What is your most favorite part about Wuhan Biennial, this year's Wuhan Biennial? I think that, um, again, it is looking at all fields of design very broadly. Um, I think it's looking at the future, it's looking at the future impact of technology, uh, the drive for innovation, I think they're doing that very well. And I think the fact that they were able to attract so many international participants is a very good thing. I know you have been to Wuhan for maybe eight times, so you're truly an old friend of us. Um, um, so how do you feel about the city this time? Well, first of all, it's very good to be able to visit Wuhan once again after a few years when the whole world was not traveling very much. I'm very happy to, to be here. And I notice when I go around the cities these days that there's a lot of development, there's a lot of new construction, a lot of new very uh, high buildings, and uh, the city is continuing to develop very favorably. So I can notice that. Okay. Um, thank you very much for taking the time for this interview. Uh, my pleasure. My pleasure.